Hey guys, this is Kyle from Projection Hub, and today we are going to go through how to create a business plan for a new trucking business. So what this video is not going to be is I'm not going to write every single word in a new business plan to demonstrate how to do this. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go through the structure and outline of a already filled out trucking business plan. And then along the way, I'm going to demonstrate and point out five key things that are probably going to make or break whether or not you can get approved for financing or you know your business plan is going to be accepted the way that it is. So I'm going to be using a free business plan template. There's no strings attached. You'll be able to download or access this trucking business plan template. Um, it'll be a link down in the description of the video and you can use it, get your copy um, because you know, a business plan is only gonna be as good as the information that you put in it. So it's pre-filled out for kind of a fictitious example. You can, you know, you're gonna have to change the words. You're gonna have to put in your own information, but it is gonna serve as a good guide to give you something to reference. So who is Projection Hub? Uh, we've helped more than 50,000 uh, businesses, small businesses create financial projections to round out business plans, get approved for financing, raise investment. And many of those businesses are trucking businesses. Uh, it's actually one of our you know, most common customers are uh, owner operator truckers that are looking to start their own business or potentially grow it by adding new trucks to their fleet. So a little bit of experience working with this industry here. And before Projection Hub, I personally worked with an SBA lender uh, as a loan officer. So um, I did that for nearly seven years and many of the businesses that we helped were people looking to buy their first truck or buy maybe their second or third truck. So spent a lot of time reviewing trucking business plans, financial projections for people just like you. So hopefully the insight I can give you is helpful. And uh, if you stick around, so obviously what we do is financial projections, that are, that's our expertise, not necessarily writing business plans, although we work with business plans quite often. And so you're gonna find out here to no surprise that financial projections are a very good, big component of the business plan. So we offer uh, a financial projection template specifically for truck businesses that'll basically produce those financial statements that your lender is gonna require very easily. Um, and I, at, the, at the very end of the video, I'll give you a promo code um, to, get a, to get a nice discount on that template if you decide that's a good option for you. So if at any point you find this content helpful, please like the video, um, subscribe to our channel if you want. We try to put out tips for business owners to stay on top of their financial situation for their business. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, why is the business plan important? It's important because this is your roadmap to success. You know, for a well-known industry, the, the purpose of your business plan isn't to explain the industry um, to them or the opportunity. It's focused more on what is your specific plan to success? Now, if it was a more novel industry or one that people weren't very familiar with, then it would be the responsibility of the business plan to do some educating as well as, you know, outline your, your map to success. But for a, an industry like trucking, it's not brand new. You know, it, it doesn't leave much to the imagination. So this doesn't need to be a really long business plan. That's a, that's a point that trips up people a lot of times. And and contrary to popular belief, you don't have to turn in a, a 40 page business plan. When I was a lender, if we received a business plan that was really long, it's kind of like, oh gosh, you know, there's a lot of information to go through there. And we would skip to these sections. I'm gonna focus on the five key points um, to really, to get a quick idea of whether or not this is something that could be approved or, you know, sounds like a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll through this here. We're gonna focus on the outline and then I'm gonna pick out five key points that I think will really make the difference to make sure your, your business plan is prepared for financing. So you don't have to kind of come back and forth uh, between that. So right off the bat here, you can kind of see the structure of the business plan. Again, you can grab this template for free in the description. We're gonna do a you know, basic introduction, a market analysis. That makes it sound more technical than it needs to be, uh, but we'll dig into that a little bit more. What type of services you're gonna offer. Marketing and sales strategy. Now I know for a trucking company that may not be like that important depending upon the type of services you're gonna offer, but we'll, we'll drill down on the key issue there your operations plan um, as well, and then financial project projections, which is a big component. And then some of the, the you know technical details down here, how your business will be structured, um, that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's kind of go through here. Your introduction, you know, think about this kind of like the cover letter of a resume. It doesn't need to be really long, really in depth, but you do want to hit the high points. Now, if there's something specific, you know, maybe like your, your total startup costs, name of the business, uh, where you plan to operate or drive trucks, that kind of thing. Get the, the quick high level overview. Now, market analysis, this is where our first kind of big point is going to come up. So in an industry like trucking, what we really want to demonstrate in this section is that there is, you know, availability in the market. There is space in the market for if you if you start your own business, buy your own truck, that there's going to be, you know, business that you can actually obtain. 
Now, you know, as well as most people probably with current events right now, that there's a massive need for truck drivers, and for people willing to move freight. So, you know, even though your lender is going to know that, um, it's still good to probably include something in here. You know, you can do even just doing some quick Google searches. This article from Forbes even says that the American Trucking Association, Association is estimating that there's 80,000 more drivers that are needed right now with a shortfall of 160,000 truckers to exist by 2030. So this problem isn't going away anytime soon, which, you know, that's a problem for the country, but that is a massive opportunity for you as the truck driver. So there's no doubt for this type of industry that there is a market. Um, so you, you can probably keep that brief in your business plan because your lender is likely going to understand that that's not what's going to make or break their decision for you. So let's kind of keep moving through here. Your service is offered. Now let's stop here for a little bit to kind of drill into this. So, you know, I'm not a trucking expert. I've looked at a lot of business plans and I've had a lot of clients that have been trucking businesses. Um, so, I, you know, there's there's differences between, right here's where you're gonna wanna drill down. Like, are there some dedicated routes that you've identified that you have the opportunity to, to take on? You know, maybe you have a connection at a different company or manufacturer or distribution company or whatever that's gonna be. And they have a spot where they're saying, hey, we've got a couple of dedicated routes. Um, we need somebody to get in that ASAP. You know, put that in your business plan. That is really important because sometimes a dedicated route can be so lucrative that you know you could buy one truck and hire a truck driver, drive it yourself, and boom, right there. That's that's everything. You know, that'll that'll pay 100 grand, 150 grand a year just to to take on that route. So that's something you would want to include if your plan is to you know buy a reefer truck and do spot freight and pick up loads and drive those around. Um, that's another thing you want to include. But if you're going to go that route, you also need to demonstrate that you know where to find those loads, that you're gonna be able to identify those and you're gonna have the equipment necessary you know, to generate what you need to for those projects. So that's point number two, I guess you could kind of call it customer acquisition, but that looks different for different industries, but for trucking, you're just gonna to wanna to kind of focus on what connections do you have? Do you already have a lead on some of these, um, a dedicated route or how you you know demonstrate you you have the know-how to, to, to find the routes necessary and what type of, truck and service you're going to offer, right? So there needs to be some some numbers associated with that that you demonstrate, you know, you know how to find the loads and you're going to be able to do that. Going through here, marketing sales strategy, this is kind of connected to what I was just talking about. If you're, you know, you need to attract potential loads or customers, you would want to outline that here um, if, if that's something you want to focus on, on like your growth plan. But if, if the focus is to be like a single truck or a few trucks and you already have, you know, a lead on on where you're going to pick up those routes, less important to have a marketing and sales strategy for, you know, a trucking company or an owner operator or truck. Okay, kind of moving through here, operations plan. I would say the main thing that you want to talk about here is if you're going to have a fleet, right? So if you're going to be a, have a single truck and you plan to drive that truck, this will be a pretty brief section. If you plan to hire to buy a couple of trucks and you're gonna hire a few drivers, then you, that's where you're gonna wanna elaborate here, you know, cause that could start to get, you know, convoluted if you have enough trucks and they're picking up different routes, you might need a dispatcher and you gotta kind of keep all that organized. So that's where this section is going to increase or decrease depending upon the structure you're planning to plan to get started with. So, okay, financial projections. Um, now this is gonna be point three and obviously we think Financial projections are a pretty big deal. That's kind of what the premise of our whole business. Um, but really, you know, we may be a little a little biased, but this this should be the the vast majority of your business plan, especially for the trucking industry. This is kind of making or breaking a lot of the decision your lender is going to be making. So we want to make sure we do this section really well. So you can see from here, I've already got some some pre filled in charts and tables, and you'll even see down here financial statements. So. If I haven't already mentioned, we, we offer a financial projection template just for truck drivers. And so it's very user friendly, probably our most popular template that we sell, mainly because it's simple and it's cheap. And if you go to the bank and you're trying to get a loan for your truck, they're going to ask you, especially if it's a new business, they're going to ask you, we need to see some projections. Um, and so you're not doing this because it's really fun to do and you love to do it, but likely because it's a requirement in order to get the funding you need. So. This template is built to be quick, simple, streamlined. You can definitely do it yourself, um, but we're also here to answer questions and help you fill it out. So it's, it's very simple. You know, you're gonna put in 
the startup money that you need you know, to buy the trucks, what type of trucks you're gonna have here, their value, some of the financing information. And then it's as simple as kind of going through and see like how, how many days of the week are you gonna be driving? Your company's gonna have drivers on the road. How many miles per day could that be? Like this is setting the capacity that your company will have. You know, if you have dedicated route information, this is where we're gonna, we're gonna drill into that. You're gonna have your costs associated with that. And then over here we have over the road trucking and spot freight, you know, loads where you can go into that a little bit more. You'll include your expenses. If you have any employees, that's where they'll go here. And then it generates automatically all these nice charts. And this is this is really what your lender wants. They want, they want these five year, three to five years of financial statements. Um, and so the template's gonna do all that for you. So it's very, very simple. That is available. That's where all these charts and graphs came from. If you did decide to get that, you know, there's a video here that walks you, you through the whole thing, how to fill it out. And then you'd be able to just grab these charts and tables, just like you see in this business plan, plop them in here with your information that's been included and, and you're good to go. So, but a little bit more about why the financials are important or what they're gonna be looking for. So what your lender wants to basically see is, do your financial projections line up within industry standards? They don't wanna see any outliers. You know, They don't wanna see that your estimated total revenue is way higher than what they would normally see because you know driving is, is standardized probably within 50 cents, you know, per mile or, or that kind of thing. So you wanna make sure you're within that range. Um, so my recommendation is as you're filling out the projections, you may, based on your experience, know what those numbers need to be, but also feel free to look those up. You know, it's a lot of information out there. We can see if you're driving a van, you know, 230 to 286 per mile, reefers are going for 319 per mile, which is just higher, flatbed 314 a mile. And then obviously a dedicated route versus spot freight, you know, it's going to be a different rate. So just make sure that the numbers you're using are within line with industry standards, um, you know, like profit margins, already mentioned total revenue. Is the business cash flowing? Like we want to demonstrate that the business is going to make it to positive cash flow um, so you can actually, you know, afford your loan payment. Uh, your lender is going to talk a lot about a debt service coverage ratio. You know, they're going to want that to be 1.2 or higher. Um, that basically just means that they want to see that you're projecting a dollar and 20 cents in free cash flow um, versus every dollar debt payment. They want to be able to see that you can actually afford, you know, the loan payment. So that's why the financial projections are going to be important. And it really is as simple as like, if you're looking for markers there, do quick Google searches. You know, what's an average profit margin for an owner operator trucking business? What is the average debt service coverage ratio for an owner operator trucking business? And just use that to compare. So not only do you have to have the financial projections, but key point number three is they need to be realistic and within industry standards. So that plug there, again, um, if, you, if you need help with that, reach out to us or grab that template should be super helpful. And I'll give you a promo code for that at the end of the video. Okay, so now I'm, I'm gonna scroll through here and you're basically gonna see the rest of this video is primarily the financial or the business plan is financial, financial projections. You have ownership structure, put those details down here. If you have potential risks, you know, this stuff, I'm not saying it's not important, um, but this isn't the decision maker. You know, how well you write your contingency plan probably isn't the decision maker on the loan. So, you know, a five to 10 page business plan is, is gonna be more than enough for a trucking business. But two more points that I haven't mentioned yet. So number four is the team and experience. So can you demonstrate that you have the experience or someone on your team has the experience that you actually know what you're doing? You're gonna be able to do this business successful. So if you have experience being a, a truck driver, or maybe you've, you've done dispatch before, or you've been in this industry. So maybe you've been driving for another company for 20 years and you decide like, man, I can make way more money if I'm doing this on my own. That's a great demonstration of experience. That's that's about all your lenders gonna need to know. They just need to know that you know what you're doing. So include that experience in your business plan or make sure your lender knows that about you. And the fifth and final point is skin in the game or mutual risk. So your lender, they're gonna wanna see that you're committed to what you're doing. And that even if it gets tough that you know, you're gonna kind of push through it and make it work. Demonstrating skin in the game and your commitment to that is likely going to look like you're investing a certain amount of cash. You know, if you're looking for a hundred grand to buy a nice new Peterbilt truck, then you're probably going to be expected to put in twenty thousand dollars, ten or twenty thousand dollars of the cash towards that truck. And then the bank is still going to want to hold the title, you know, to that truck. Maybe you have a title to another car. Like if you don't have cash to put down as the down payment, then you might have to put a second mortgage on your house or, or, you know, put something up of worth. Now the lender is not doing this to wreck your life or control your life, but to them, it's more of a demonstration that, you know, 
they want to know how committed you are to this. And, and if, if it doesn't work, they want you to know that it's, it's going to hurt a little bit because it's going to you know hurt them a little bit too. So that's that's really all that they want to see, that there is some skin in the game. And you got to be prepared. You know, a lot of times people say you got to keep the business and personal separate. That is true. But from the lender's side of things, they're giving you a lot of money. So they want to know that you're, you can't just walk away you know, personally from it as well. You got to, got to be committed to that. So there you have it. That's the quick overview of how to do a trucking business plan. It's as simple as following a template like this, fill it out with your information, and then really focus on those five key points that are going to make the business plan you know, shine and give your lender the comfort they need to know to give you an approval for the money that you need. Now, how can we help you from this standpoint? I already pointed out the trucking projection template for you. Scroll back up here for you. There's actually a link included in here. This video will give you a link as well. But you can see here, there's a link directly to the trucking template. You can use PH20BP to get a 20% discount on the template. I think it's a $79 template. So 20% off that, you know, it's, it's pretty affordable, much cheaper than if you had a CPA or something do your projections for you. The template was built by a CPA that gives you a little bit more confidence in it. We also offer a complimentary um, projection review. So if you fill it out and you really want to make sure it's good to go, send it to us. We'll give you a, a pointers, feedback, can answer questions for you on that. Even if you already have projections, feel free to send them to us. We'll review those as well, free of charge to make sure you feel comfortable with that. So if you're in need of a lender, um, we're not a lender, but we, we have connections to different lenders. We can, we can recommend some for your area. Um, so feel free to let us know. Hopefully this video was helpful. Again, like the video if it was. Uh, hit subscribe if you'd like some more helpful tips about you know taking care of the, the financial side of your business. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.